Hey guys, Tony Smith with Dennis and Yachting. Today I'm here with... Marc Pajot from Pajot Yacht Selection here in Monaco. So we're super excited. We're here at the Yacht Club and overlooking a very cool project. This is the Eco Yacht 90 by Wider Peugeot, correct? That's correct. That the project that we design with a designer whose name is Nicolas Forou and my uh, own concept plus uh, wider shipyard, aluminum project, a real sailing catamaran. Excellent, excellent. So wh why did you choose to have the collaboration uh, with Wider on this? Because they, they were uh, one of the first to use a really uh, electric uh, engine. And uh, with my, my experience uh, on sailing boats and their experience on the engine, electric engine, okay. uh, we decide to join together. Okay, great, great. So I see on this, obviously, you've got a ton of solar capability up front. And then this really looks to be like a performance catamaran along with the eco catamaran. Is that correct? Yes. So it's a cruising catamaran. It's mm -hmm. not a performing catamaran, but uh, the concept means that we can go to 15 knots either with the sails or with the uh, engine. Okay. So it's uh, well, it's thin uh, hull. Um, we try to get the boat the lighter as possible. Aluminum building. Yes. So. Uh, okay. Right. And and then there's some design features with the sail plan. Can you? It doesn't have a boom here. Can you explain how that works and the advantages? Yes. <laughs> Uh, so, as per our experience on catamarans and the development of modern sailing boats, uh, the main sail is just acting as a flap behind the jib. Uh, so the mass is very back mm -hmm. on the boat, and the main sail. When you drop the main sail, the main sail disappears on the flybridge. So you can have a very large area. Okay. Um, without the main cell. And the advantage is uh, easy for the crew. Um, and when you are downwind, if you want, you have a big Genoa or big uh, Jenniker, so a smaller main cell. So it means that for the crew, it's more easier to use as well. Okay, okay. Yeah, so this is really an interesting design here. Up on the top, when the when you're not sailing, you've got a huge entertaining platform with the sunbed and everything. And then, can you explain what's going on in the back of the boat? Because I've never seen this yeah. is effectively like a beach club on a catamaran. It, yes, it is like a beach club. So the idea when you are here in the Monaco Yacht Show, you see a lot of motor yacht with the opening back, opening Thompson. So we adapt the same system. Uh, on a catamaran, and the key point of this boat is that we have the two we have two VIP cabin on the rear okay. back of the boat, which means that you can go easily from uh, the inside to the beach club. Okay, if you beautiful. go on this image, for example, you have a very uh, easy and functionable uh, space to go directly to the beach club. Uh, privately and uh, independently for the customer. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I, I love how you've integrated not only materials and technology, but even some beach club concept from the super yachts to into basically a super yacht catamaran. At this yes, point. and um, on, on the super yacht, you, on, on, the, on the yacht, you go, you go down in the cabin, for sure you have a nice uh, window, mm -hmm. but uh, on this catamaran, uh, you have the beach club and you are close to the water. Okay. You can go swimming and go back in your cabin very easily. And uh, you have a very, you will have a very good feeling about the sea and uh, um, so the space will be a very special space. That's excellent, that's excellent. And then a few other things I noticed with the layout, this has in the center of the boat, you have the engine room, is that correct? Yes. Okay. So we want to have uh, the mast in the central of the boat the engine, uh, most of the weight in the control of the boat because uh, a catamaran uh, can go pitching in the waves. Sure. Uh, so you have to stabilize the boat, having the weight in the middle, like, uh, and, because, and because we have the two back cabin and uh, to keep the noise just below and in the middle. Okay, 
Yeah, and I noticed you can actually stand up in the engine room, is that correct? Is yes, it? that's one of okay. the uh, key points as well on okay. this boat, is that the crew is very well treated, okay. uh, having a large uh, space for one, two, three cabin for the crew, okay. and a direct access to the engine room, okay. which is very functional and the guy can stay a startup in the engine room. So the boat is obviously very crew friendly. So you up to three crew cabins and then how many guest so, cabins? So you have the, um, the two VIP yep. plus a master plus one guest cabin where you, have, you can accommodate uh, uh, two or three uh, people. Okay, so the two VRP is in the back and then the, the main is on the, uh... on the... On the front. Okay. So the, the advantage of this boat as well is uh, that you can walk from the back to, of the boat to the front on the same level. Yeah. Uh, and in your master cabin as well. So um, it's very uh, easy, easy functional boat. Okay, and then from the master, the, you have direct access to that forward cockpit or forward lounge. Yes, you have okay. the door to go directly to the front. To Great. Lounge. Yes. So now, being electric, obviously you get power from the solar cells as you well have, as you have uh, seven, generator. Yes, correct? you have the seventy square meters of solar uh, cell. Okay. On the roof plus a generator. Okay. And uh, the combination of the generators and the solar panel, uh, we try to have half of the weight of a normal um, fuel tank. Okay. So it makes the boat uh, lighter, even if we have the batteries. Um, for example, we have two tons of uh, lithium batteries on board. Okay. But uh, the the average calculation is a very advantage uh, for such a compromise with the solar panel and the small generators. Okay, and, and sure don't forget that you have a, a cell as well. Yes, <laughs> which, yes, yeah. which is useful. The, the ultimate uh, yes, sustainable. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's a, that's a free, uh, like we say, uh, every by nature, free wind and the free sun. Excellent, <laughs> excellent, very good, very good. So. This boat, another feature is you've got the, the center boards that can be retracted up, is that correct? Yes, so you can go in the Bahamas very easily. Okay. And uh, from the experience, we feel that uh, on the sailing boat, you, are, you need to have something in the water to go straight, to yeah. go upwind, to go in the wave, not to go like that, because mm -hmm. you have a center board. Okay, okay, excellent, excellent. Now, I absolutely love it, and thank you for spending time with me today. Um, we are featuring the uh, Eco 90 by Wider Peugeot, and if anyone has any questions, we'll have contact information down below. These boats are available. We have build slots available, so let us know if you need additional information, and we'll schedule a Zoom call together. So thanks again. I appreciate the time. Thank you. <laughs> All right. For additional information, please feel free to email me at ts at flyachtpro.com. Also, please feel free to text me at 404-805-9819.